Blessings, family, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Bless you, every person who sees this video. Um, I pray that the Lord bring whomever he wills, whomever he desires to see this video, um, that the labors be sent forth and that seeds would be planted, that those seeds would be protected in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, that the enemy will not be able to come behind and uproot like he'll steal, destroy in any way, shape, manner, form. Amen. So there's a couple things, you guys, that um, I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about as I do in, in most all my videos. But first thing I want to share that the Lord, um, that the Lord was showing me, brothers and sisters, we have people who are considered pillars, um, pillars in the church, right? People who have huge uh worldwide known very big um deliverance ministries uh like people who are considered in in the world pillars um who who lead a flock right who a lot of people and 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 brothers and sisters i want to tell and any person any of those pillars that see this video um i need to i need to share something and i've talked about this before um I've talked about this before in other videos, but it's time to talk about it again as what the Lord, the Holy Spirit led me to. And it's it's about what this is referencing to in Ezekiel 33 and what Paul references in Acts 15, 29. And it says, um, um, it says, we are met and you can read this it says but we are many surely the land has been given to us as a possession therefore tell them that this is what the lord god says you eat meat with the blood in it lift up your eyes to idols and shed blood should you then possess the land and and brothers and sisters a lot of people when i say that scripture they think that we are pertaining to the old covenant um, the the dietary laws, and I want to I want to share with all of you that those old dietary laws. Okay, yes, all foods were made clean, but brothers and sisters, we are not to partake in the drinking of the blood of an animal, and that happens. That that takes place when people are eating raw meat, especially raw beef. When people go, a lot of people, they go to these, you know, they'll travel and ministry work or they'll go all over the world. And then they go to a restaurant and they get a steak that's cooked uh, medium or medium rare even. And brothers and sisters... As per the word of the Lord, Old and New Testament, and and per the conviction of, of the spirit of the Lord upon every person who sees this, we, yes, all foods are made clean, but we are not to eat Old and New Testament. We are not to eat an animal that has been strangled, who has died such a death like that, because that's a wicked thing to do. Um, and we are not to eat it, uh the blood of an animal. And when you are eating uncooked meat, whether it be a raw hamburger, a raw steak, raw whatever, the hemoglobin in the blood, the life of that animal is still inside of the blood. And the enemy, um, the enemy does this in rituals, right? And 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 the the life of that animal actually goes and empowers um um the person who partakes in it. But you can be guilty of this indirectly. And I'll have everybody know that if people do not repent of this and they continue in it, those animals out on, on judgment, which is manifesting right now and will manifest even more um, in, in the months and, and in the next few years to come, those animals will actually lay accusation because their blood has a harmonic signature. OK, and like when it says the blood of Abel cries out to the Lord day and night for vengeance, it's the same thing with the animals. The Lord can hear that blood crying out the offense of that person that they committed. And so I want to um, encourage you, uh, whether you're a pillar, uh, whatever type of ministry you have, a silent ministry, uh, meaning you you 
just lift up offerings and sacrifices in your house. We are all called to the to some form of ministry, but whether you're a leader or or not, it doesn't matter. Any type of person, whatever your role is, do not partake in the blood. And that's what it says here, right? There's brothers and sisters that are out there that say, "Yeah, we are the the we are the true sons and daughters of Christ, right? We are the seed of Abraham too." But yet they partake in this eating of raw meat. And brothers and sisters, as you can go read Acts chapter fifteen. Okay, and it also in Acts, it also talks about this um, more. If you type in the word blood and you go into Acts and read all the times it talks about those scriptures, it's not just saying it here. But yes, all foods are made clean, brothers and sisters, but we are not, we are to cook. If you eat meat, you are to cook that meat all the way through Old Testament and New Testament. That is still active today. And I pray that the conviction of the Lord uh, would convict would convict you of these things. And I pray that you would repent, that the spirit of humility and repentance would come upon every person engaging in this. So, brothers and sisters, um, the I need to get my phone. So, this is how the battle in the end days the 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 enemy the dragon is coming up against. The dragon is coming up against the children of God. And I'm going to show you how what the Lord showed me and how this is manifesting. But first of all, a mighty praise report. Brothers and sisters, there was a, a, a person who was literally raised from the dead. Literally raised from the dead. He was literally dead and he came back to life. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. This is the sign that the spirit of Christ is operating in the earth is operating in the sons and daughters of of El Elion and the servants. Um, and so this is something, this is a mighty miraculous, this is just what it says. This is a miracle. This is and and I pray that you would glorify and praise the Lord and and that you would see this for what it is, that this is a sign that Christ is moving gloriously in the earth. Amen. Um so, brothers and sisters, when it talks about um, the dragon and the enemy coming up against the children of God in the end days, that is what is happening right now. And what he's doing is he's presenting, he's working in people who are already marked with the beast, and he's working in people around the children of God to present stressful um, and situations where they must exemplify love. And he, because what he's doing is he wants them to be caught up in their feelings and emotions because he wants to take their crowns. He um, he is allowed by the Lord to put the children of God through a purging and refining process. And only the true children of God will overcome. They will overcome with the light and the love and the glory of Christ. Hallelujah. All glory be to the Lamb. But what this is, brothers and sisters, is... Um, the Holy Spirit has given um, God's children, God's servants his, and servants and the prophets the revelation of how to interpret what these asteroids, these signs and the sun and the moon and the stars and what they mean. All glory to God. And so the um, the Chinese, as you see here, the Chinese um, nation, uh, the people, they often refer to themselves as the people of the dragon. Um, there is a lot of open dragon worship there. Um, their their communist regime, what they think. And so you can kind of put together um, where the spirit of the spirit of the dragon um, and who that is operating through very largely. Um, I don't need to elaborate. I don't think any more on that. But the way that they're coming up against God's people, one of the ways, this is what the Lord showed me. So they, the Chinese, just like we launched a um, satellite to try to, de to deflect, to try to deflect an asteroid, um, I think the asteroid was Didymus. And we ran a satellite into it to deflect it. What they're doing, brothers and sisters, is when these asteroids and meteors go by Earth, that is a sign, a sign that that in the spirit that that what that asteroid represents, the number 
and the meaning of what that asteroid represents that in the spirit, that's what the meaning of that asteroid or comet is what is manifesting in the spirit. So I'm going to give you an example. So here, the Ch what the Chinese are doing, what they're going to attempt to do is deflect and interfere with the coming of this comet or, or is it comet or asteroid? Asteroid named 2019 VL5. Okay, now V, the 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 numerical value of V in Strong's is T U V. Okay, is twenty two. So V equals twenty two, and then L equals A B C D E F G H I J K L. So L equals twelve. V equals 22 so we have 2212 that's what that's the name of this asteroid that's the numerical value of this asteroid and that's what it means that's what the 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 coming of this asteroid when it comes comes by the earth means the spirit of what this represents is operating in the spiritual realm 2212 in strongs means to seek in Greek, and in Hebrew, it means to, to refine and to purify, okay? So what this means is that this, what this asteroid represents is that spirit, that power, that God is, that he is moving in the spiritual realm in the earth to refine and purify, to purge and refine God's people. The Chinese are, the, the dragon is getting is attempting to hinder that from happening. And yes, what we're seeing here, brothers and sisters, is, is a sign of the physical, of them physically trying to do that. But also, they're um, in the spiritual realm, the dragon is going to be coming up against the spirit that 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 spirit of purging and refining wouldn't operate in the children of God's lives. So we need to come up against this, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, in prayer and in fasting and in spiritual warfares, lifting up offerings to the Lord on behalf that the Lord would thwart, we need to move the heart of the Lord and use our God-given authority over all the strength of the enemy to come up against this. And this isn't it. This is something that is not just a one time. Oh, just pray it, and that it's it's over. We need to be doing this in fervent prayer, coming up against the plans of the enemy, brothers and sisters. There's a reason why um, the Lord gave um, that Elijah he prayed fervently. There's a reason why in the New Testament that the Lord gave the parable that the woman who kept on who kept on uh, bugging the king to to um, give a judgment on her behalf. There's a reason for these things. Okay, so we need to be in fervent prayer that the plans of the enemy to come up against the purging and refining of God's people, that this plan would be thwarted. We need to come up against this. It says that the 10 kings and the, the son of perdition and the 10 kings, that they make war against the Lord and his saints. But the Lord and Lord and King of Kings, he is with his people. Um, he is with their people. So we can come up against this and thwart this and 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 defeat this plan because we really need, we want that spirit, uh, that, that operating in the spirit, that purging and refining so that we can be made ready for that great day, that great day when the Lord will gather us, right? So, um, I wanted to share this with you guys. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen.